Redskins hope a healthy Rob Kelly is answer to Eagles' top-ranked run defense. Five games into the season and not a single Redskins tailback has posted as many as 80 yards on the ground this season. And on Monday night, they'll face their biggest test to date, an Eagles defense that has absolutely smothered running backs all season. How good has Philadelphia's rush defense been? The Chiefs' Kareem Hunt managed 81 yards in Week 2, but in the Eagles' other five games, not a single running back has topped 30 yards. The Redskins hope they'll be the team that can solve the Eagles' dynamic front four, and they'll likely turn to Rob Kelly to do it. Kelly is coming off an ankle injury and while he was limited in practice both Thursday and Friday, he says he expects to be healthy enough to play Monday. If that's the case, Redskins coach Jay Gruden said Kelly will again be slotted as the Redskins' number one running back. Kelly missed the Week 3 game against the Raiders with a rib injury and missed last Sunday's win over San Francisco with an ankle injury. I was expecting some rust, the second-year running back said after practice Friday, but I had a few good runs the past few days, we'll figure out in the game if there's rust or not. Five storylines to follow in Redskins-Eagles game In his absence, Chris Thompson has shown he's a strong receiving threat out of the backfield. He had 150 receiving years against the Raiders and 105 against the 49ers, and Samage Perini has been a serviceable ball carrier. Kelly said he's not too worried about how the carries are divided up, as long as the Redskins can steal a win on the road. I think me getting all the carries, I think it wouldn't be beneficial to the team, especially at this point, he said. Then you have Chris playing out of his mind right now, so why would you do that? Whatever coach needs, I'm there for. If he wants me to run it the whole time, I can run it the whole time. If he wants to split carries, I can do that, too. Asked why the Eagles' defensive front is so good, Kelly didn't even pause to think. They pay a lot of money for their front. That's the obvious thing, he said. And it's true. The unit is led by Fletcher Cox who last year signed a contract that could be ultimately be worth $103 million, along with Vinnie Curry, who last year signed a deal that could be worth $47.5 million, and Brandon Graham. In the offseason, the Eagles drafted Derek Barnett in the first round and added Timmy Jern again, a former second-rounder, in a trade with Baltimore. The Redskins' defensive line has been critical to success. What will it be without Jonathan Allen? To be good against the run, you have to have good players and they have good players across the board, Gruden said. And it's not just their first four. They're bringing backups and they're just as good. After studying tape, Gruden says the Eagles' defense has essentially eliminated opposing teams' ground game. They put foes in deep holes and force third and long situations. If Washington wants to find success on the ground, they'll have to stay committed to the run and find some semblance of success on first downs. We've got to make sure that when we do run the ball, we try to make positive yards, even if it's three yards, four years, Gruden said. That's a good run for us to keep us in positive down and distances. Read more on the Redskins. The Redskins' defensive line has been critical to success. What will it be without Jonathan Allen? Redskins CB Josh and Norman aims to attend the next players' meeting with NFL owners. Five story lines to follow in Redskins Eagles game. Nick Rouse, the Redskins' new kicker, is ready for high stakes of NFL debut. Redskins CB's Norman, Breland take measured steps towards return 